in this video we're going to take a look at uh, starting with a pivot table. Uh, so here's our pivot table data that we've used in the other videos and uh, it's got repeating values in column A, repeating values in column B, repeating values in column C, so it's a ideal data for a pivot table. So uh, let's go to our insert tab and make sure your cursor is in the data before you start and not in the title or off to the side somewhere. And we want to insert a pivot table and it automatically selects our data correctly. I'm going to put it on a new worksheet, click on OK. And let's create a pivot table. Let's do product and let's do month and then let's do revenue. Okay. And I'm going to format this first here. Let's do a comma and reduce the decimal places. Okay. So uh, we've got a pivot table with uh, first grouped by uh, product. And within that, it is um, grouped by month. So, if we want to sort, uh, we've got several options. Um, let's go to Brazilian coffee here, and let's pick one of the numbers from January through June. Actually, it doesn't really matter um, whether you're in Brazilian or whether you're in one of the other ones. And uh, so we'll just go right here and we'll right click and we will do sort and we will do uh, largest to smallest. And it sorts every one. Uh, every product gets sorted in descending order by the amount of the revenue. So they're all sorted now. If I right click on one of the bold numbers here, I'll right click on that and do sort and we will do uh, largest to smallest then it sorts the bold numbers and uh, the rest of the data that goes along with them. So um, French had the most total revenue and then Brazilian and then Turkish so they get sorted in that order and we are still sorted in uh, descending order based on the sum of the revenue for each month. So we've got the months sorted within um, the products and the products are sorted by name. Okay, um, and by the way, you can also do this right now. Th so these are in descending order. Let's we can also go to the data tab here, and so now I'm on one of the uh, unbolded numbers, which means I'm on an individual month total, and uh, I've currently got them sorted from Z to A. So I'm not going to see any change if I click on um, on that. So I'm going to do an A to Z, and I should have this lowest number at the top for each one of these products. So I've got the poorest month at the top for each one and the best month is at the bottom for each product. Okay, um, you can sort on, let's sort on the names of the products. So it should be B and F and T. So Brazilian will be on top after I do that. So click on A to Z while you're on one of the names of one of the products. And Brazilian is now at the beginning. Uh, here's a different one. Um, click on any one of the months here and let's do an A to Z sort, okay? And so A to Z usually means alphabetical. So if I click on A to Z, uh, it does not come out alphabetical. It comes out chronological, January, February, March, April, May, June on all three of the different products. So that's actually better. And uh, the reason it does this is because uh, Excel has a feature called custom lists and it comes with uh, either two or four custom lists depending on how you count. Uh, the months of the year make up one custom list and the three letter abbreviations make up another one and uh, the days of the week and the three letter abbreviations for the days of the week make up another custom list. So we have lots of options for sorting and you can do it either by right clicking or by using your data tab and going to the sort and filter group up here.